So I went on vacation from last week until this past Sunday. And what I did was, right before we left, I shut off all my Scentsy warmers. Well, at first I cleaned all the wax out. Then I shut them off. As they were still hot, but they were off, I dropped a cube of wax in there so that when we got home, all I had to do was flick them all on, okay? Also, it would just give just the littlest bit of scent while we're gone, just from them sitting there. I don't know, whatever. I got four cats, right? And the house was all closed up for five days. I used white out in half of them, and then I used white tea and cactus in the other half. Very nice, very clean, and it was the perfect choice. Thank you very much. Because when we came home, the house was a little bit stuffy. The home, not the house, because it's not a house, it's an apartment. The home was a bit stuffy. You know, once we got all the windows open and I turned on the Scentsy warmers, it was just like, oh yeah, it just cleaned everything up. It was a wonderful combination. So I kept those in just for like two days. I kept those in because I change out my Scentsy wax like every 48 hours or something like that. I was talking to a new customer. She's been um, a good friend of mine for a while, but then um, she called me up and she said, you know what, I'm, I'm getting like really curious about the Scentsy thing that you're talking about. So let's order me something. So we ordered her something and she said, what scents do you have that are coffee? And I said, well, the only one that I know of really right now is Mocha Doodle. And I said, Mocha Doodle has just a hint of chocolate and it's mostly coffee, but it's not as bitter as you would think that smells. It's a little bit more of a sweet scent. I don't warm it on a very regular basis because I don't do the gourmand thing very often, the bakery kind of thing. But oh my God, this was awesome. So after I got off the phone with her, I said, you know what? I've only had that going in my kid's room because my kids love the smell of chocolate, you know? So I've only had that going in my kid's room. Let me go ahead and pop one of those cubes into my kitchen Scentsy Warmer. So I never really figured that I would like this so much because my house kind of always smells like coffee anyway. Because <laughs> I'm always drinking coffee. But oh my God, it smells so good, so good. And this thing has power, man. This went through the whole house, home. This went through the whole home and for two, well, that was on Tuesday and now today's Thursday and I don't even feel like I need to change out my, my wax. So, awesome. Mocha Doodle, get it. Especially because now the cooler months are coming and this was a very warm scent. It's very warm. Okay. Oh, I have hair like <gasps> everywhere. I got these. About two weeks before we went away, I got these and then I started, I, I held on to them for two or three days and then I broke into them, okay. And so I was warming this all over the house for a while, for about a week. And what I was doing was I was doing a little bit of each one of these in each warmer together. This is uh, Very Merry Cranberry and this is Eskimo Kiss. Both of these are very nice. Eskimo Kiss is not strong enough for me at all. Even when I used a lot of Eskimo Kiss in one warmer, it wasn't quite enough scent for me. I don't know why I can't smell it as much as other people smell it, I guess. It's very, it's not very sweet. It has a sweet note to it. It like wants to be sweet. It wants to be minty. It wants to be snowy. It's, it, it wants to be vanilla. I don't know why. It, I don't dislike it at all. But I needed something else with it. Very Merry Cranberry, I very much like. <laughs> and it broke, by the way. I like it. I like it. It's got, um, it's got a little bit of tartness to it. I like cranberry garland better. Cranberry garland is cranberry, but then it has like notes of pine or tree in there. Very Merry Cranberry doesn't have the tree smell. At least I don't smell it. I was gonna sell these and then because they came broken, I just kept them for myself. I like it. Um, it's not very Christmassy to me. I don't know, Christmas has to smell like a pine cone to me. <laughs> But I did just order last night the Caramel Vanilla Delight Brick. That, those are called bricks, okay? Yesterday was November 20th. Sorry, yesterday was November 30th. And that was the last day to order the bricks. And I woke up that morning and I went, yesterday morning and I went, am I really gonna let today go by and I'm not gonna order on the last day that the bricks are available, I'm not gonna order that scent because Caramel Vanilla Delight is only available in the brick, was only available until midnight last night, it's gone now. Can't get it, consultants can't get it, nobody can get it. But that thing is gonna be on a truck coming to me in about a day or two, which I'm very happy about. So I got that, but Scentsy uh, did discontinue the bricks for now. Uh, for, they were only available in the month of November. 
So now December 1st we wake up and we open up our workstation, right? There's like news flashes all over the place saying that there's a whole new line of holiday scents that are out for only December, which is like... You know, as soon as I saw, oh, more holiday scents, I'm like, more bakery shit. I can't, I can't with all of the sweet and the cinnamon and the plum and blah, blah, blah. blah. But these sound awesome. Blue Christmas is gonna be my jam. Watch. Holiday fragrance of orange peels, clove, fir needles, and cinnamon. I'm hoping that it doesn't have too much cinnamon. I kind of like clove, but cinnamon, I like everything, don't get me wrong. I don't dislike it. But I always feel like whenever I use a cinnamon-based scented wax, I gotta kinda water it down with something else. So I'm thinking that the orange and the fur needle is gonna be really good. Also, the other one that I really wanna try is this Wasail Wonderland. Not exactly sure what that means, but anyway, it's orange zest, lemon peel, cinnamon stick over fresh fur needles. The fur needles is like a, a theme there, okay? <laughs> I think it's just pine scent, but they have eggnog. Now, I know that I said I don't like gourmand, I don't like food scents, but eggnog has a very special place in my heart. I don't know what it is, but eggnog just there's eggnog ice cream now and you can like spike it and, uh, so they have other ones poinsettia pine sparkling pomegranate tangerine evergreens amber and spice see when it says spice i know that it's going to be a strong spice scent and i'm not really into that saint knickerdoodle baked apples spices and a dusting of powdered sugar i'm not gonna like that i'm gonna order all these because i have to <laughs> i don't actually have to but i have to <laughs> I have to have all of these. I don't think that they're gonna have testers in these, so I'm just gonna order them. And they're also very much not a lot of money, if that makes any sense. If you buy all of them, it's 20 bucks. And there's five of them. So it's kind of like you're getting one for free, okay? Usually, if you buy five, you get the six for free. With this one, if you buy four, you get the fifth for free, kind of a thing, okay? So I'm gonna be getting all those. Oh, they have a new uh, Scentsy Bunny. And he's a Yeti, <laughs> which is kind of funny. <laughs> Scentsy Buddy is basically just like a uh, stuffed animal and he's got a little zipper pack and you put a, uh, a scent pack in there and you could choose any scent pack. Every scent that we have at Scentsy, we have in scent pack, okay? So you would choose your Scentsy Buddy and then you choose your scent pack. So I'm gonna put a little picture of him right over here. He's very cute. I might get it, I might not. I bought a couple, if you can see up there. I bought a couple of Scentsy Buddies last time. There was a flash sale. I don't have a lot of little children in my life right now. My youngest child is nine and he's kind of beyond the stuffed animal thing, although he does love stuffed animals. And my brother's kids are 17 and 15. Um, we don't have a lot of little kids in our family right now. I mean, I have a friend who has two young kids, but then I've already given them Scentsy Buddies in the past couple of weeks, so I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. It looks very cute. And they also have one that's a snowman. They also have one that's like a little uh, mouse ballerina thing. I mean, I was never really into the stuffed animal thing when I was little, so <laughs> I, mean, I used to like rip apart Barbie dolls. <laughs> like, I wasn't into girly stuff. But I am now, I guess. <laughs> so there's all the new stuff. If you wanted to buy any scents, if you'd like to go through me, that would be awesome. And if you're local to me, that's even better because people who are local to me get extras. Okay, I hope you're all great. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I did. And I will talk to you guys probably next week. Okay, bye.